Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's Janet Boke here and if it's your very first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and to the returning subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it so much and thank you for your support to everyone who is reaching out, to everyone who, who stops by to watch my videos. Thank you so much. As you can see me, I'm here. I know my hair looks messy, but something just happened, and we just had to to roll with the day. So, um, my grandmother, my mom's mom, my mother's mom, just passed on, passed on, passed away, passed on. Like she's she's no more. So we were just I was just chilling at home and doing my hair that's why it looks messy and I receive a call from my mom not a call a text from my mom that you know what your grandma is no more so immediately I finished my hair I didn't wash it or do something I rushed here this is my uncle's place people are on the other side on the other compound after this there's another as you can see can you see the other iron sheet the blue one yeah that's where my, my grandma used to stay yeah so she's dead it's so painful seeing your aunties your uncles your cousins crying and everything yeah so we're just here we don't really have much going on people are just wondering that's it's around 6.50, so it's late, and this is the only time I got to share this with you. So that's my auntie, I just talked to talk to her. Yeah, she's escorting her mom, like she's, my auntie married to my uncle. So my uncle's house, she's the one who has been taking care of my grandma, because she's so old, around a hundred and something years. I'm not sure that's why that's why I'm not being specific but that's my aunt and we really have nothing much going on apart from that yeah people have cried enough yeah and what else let me just here and so yeah guys that's life I guess she was really a nice grandma she was really a nice grandma <laughs> she was a nice grandma I really have a, you know when when someone is so good and it's not people we did I didn't expect that she was going to die this soon even though she's she has been so sick for a long time and uh, she yeah she's she has been sick for a long for a long time and I guess it was just time even even though it's so painful that she left but I think it's a relief because she was really undergoing a lot a lot and she 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 really lived enough even though I would really love to have seen her more and more times because every time I'm, I used to come from town to visit home, I will say like this, let me go see my grandma and I will run here, come visit and she used to chant, every time she she could see me, she could chant, she could chant a lot, naming me, it's not only that you don't know my tribe, but I could have sung it for you, so my name is Boke, as you know, Janet Boke, so she could see me. Okay, the, I was named after her grandma, after her grandma. I was named after my grandmother's grandma. So every time she could see me, she could be so happy, like, oh, my grandma is here. So she could call me my grandma, and I call her my grandma. So she could sing for me. There's, I was named Boke Masase, so she could sing, oh, Boke Masase, Mugumbe, and whatever, and whatever, so many things. I, there's no need of me chanting it here because you guys, you guys, most of you won't understand it, but that's how it used to be. 
Yeah, so people are already down making plans. They are planning on how everything will go, when the burial will take place, um, what will happen during the burial. Of course, they are planning what people will put on. <sighs> yeah, and so many people. So I'm just making this video so that I'll, all, I'll be always remembering that, you know, my grandma died on 12th of September. Today is on 12th of September, the year 2023. She died in the in the night, midnight, around um, around what time? Around 11 to 1. In between that time, not sure, not very sure. I really I'm not that person who will just state numbers or digits or words without assurance without sh being sure about it so I'm not sure the exact time that she passed on but it was around that time yeah it's so painful uh, and I don't know I've today made me realize that I'm so different when it comes to such situation I really didn't know I would hold my tears for some time. I really don't know. Like my mom when my mom sent me that message, I was just at home chilling and doing my hair. So I I had a message and opened it. So when I called her, I felt the tears. I felt felt like is dead uh, she was really down she was so low she was full of emotions I felt like crying but I don't know what just hold me back I didn't cry even when I came here after seeing how people are reacting and me being the grandma you know people now know me as my grandma's grandma so when I came they were like oh it's so sweet you know you've lost your your granddaughter so my my grandma being my me being her grandma i mean they mean i have lost my granddaughter according to what i was named after so they were like oh sorry you've lost your granddaughter and stuff that made me emotional that's what made me tear up yeah but i just realized that i'm so different when it comes to such situations I didn't cry much, I didn't show it, but I was so mad, I was so pissed off, like everything was so pissing, everything, like I was so pissed with everything, even people, even when I went to look for a motorbike so that it can bring me here, I was so mad, I was so mad at everyone, everyone I was meeting, I was so mad, you see like moods, for example the period, period cramps. When that happens, I don't know what to say. I was so mad. I'm still mad, but I just have to hold it down. I was so mad at everyone. I felt, I don't know, it wasn't hitting me good because it was so bad. I didn't expect to, to lose my grandma this early. First of all, I really wished uh, I was, I used to pray and tell God, oh God, I really want my grandma to see me getting married and having kids. And at some point I thought I'll bring my kids to her for more blessings. And uh, actually every time I used to visit her, she would ask me, are you, are you married? Are you married? Oh, you're not yet married. Are you in school? Yeah, so she was so concerned. Every time I visit, I, ha I had to update her on everything I'm doing and what I'm always up to. The last time I visited her, the last time we visited her, she w she didn't recognize recognized me because she was so down. She was already... <sighs> she was so sick. She was so sick, she couldn't recognize me. And even her earring... How is it called? She couldn't hear me. So if you have to communicate for the last one year, if you wanted to communicate to my grandma, you have to shout. You have to talk loudly so that she can get you. So 
she, uh, the next the last time we visited she couldn't hear even if you she she hear what you say when you go around for some few minutes you come back she will still ask you who are you what are, what is your name who is your so she will ask you whose child are you amongst my kids like you you have to to say who your mother is or who your father is like her kids now when you come to visit you so like my mother i will have to introduce that i'm janet boke and my mother is so and so so with that she will understand whose child whose child she's she's talking to at the moment you know yeah so guys we just here I really don't have a lot to say because it's a sad day for me. Um, I didn't know some things. Are, we don't expect some things. We don't expect it at all. Yeah, guys. You no, know, I'm just chilling around. That is their shamba. My uncle's shamba, you can see. It's a banana. It's a banana farm. Like, it's really a big banana farm. So big. Yeah, so nothing much here, guys. We are just chilling. I don't think people morning will allow me to sh to film them or to take pictures or videos of them at this moment because everyone is still absorbing it. Everyone is absorbing it, the information, and I still the I feel the pain here, here in my chest. I feel so bad. I feel so pissed. I feel so, so mad, like, I'm so mad at my, first of all, I'm so mad at myself. I feel like I didn't do something good for her. That's what I feel. I feel like I was so late to, un to do things that I didn't find, didn't get the time to... To make her proud maybe yeah you know yeah so guys as you can feel everything is so quiet the sun is setting already going down I guess yeah so maybe in case they allow me or they are comfortable with the camera I'll show you around but right now they are in a meeting talking about how they'll do everything when to bury what to what kind of coffin what kind of dress code will do i really you know every time i look at this compound and my my other uncle's compound it hits me deeper that you know your grandmother is no more so those trips i used to make here like let me go see my grandma no more no more Maybe I'll just be coming here once to say hi to my uncle and visit the grave, maybe. Because my grandfather already died so many years ago when I was uh, young. They buried him somewhere down. I can't identify because, you know, something about this place, it's all covered with, with the uh, weird... Plant, plantation, maize, beans, potatoes, uh, cassavas, and so many other things they are planted here. So it's not easy for me to identify where they they and on which farm they buried my my grandfather. So I don't know if they'll they'll be going to bury my grandmother on the same place they buried him. I just can't remember on which farm they buried my grandfather. But I remember we used to... You see where the, the two trees are? Let me show you. This one. This one. That used to be the way down to where my grandfather used to, to, to live with the wife who is my grandmother. So after he died, the, the sons built a home. And they came with my grandma here. I really hope I'm making sense because everything is just flowing. I'm not sure what I'm saying, but I just wanted to share with you guys. 
that this is what has gotten us as a family but we thank God for the many years that God allowed us to have our grandma uh, around at least we privileged or we're grateful because not many people were capable or uh, were, were no had the chance to see their even some of them their moms you know you know there are some people who if you ask them about their mom they said oh me it was told my mom died or my grandma died my grandfather died so which means they were they never got that chance to have their loved one around so for me i'm so grateful because it's so sweet that i had that chance to be with to meet my grandma to talk to him him telling me stories when he was not yet sick um, us playing around him milking cows and boiling milk for us to drink yeah it it, it was always uh, a lot of fun being around her when she was still healthy wealthy healthy <laughs> why am i confusing that when she was still healthy strong and energetic you know she could do everything for herself when she used to realize that her grandkids are coming over to visit she will uh, that's where they store some things like firewood and stuff that place yeah so that's where they will she will do a lot for us like every every time she had that the grandchildren are coming to visit she'll slaughter a uh, even two chickens she'll milk the cow and preserve the fermented milk for us and every morning we will drink pure milk and maybe cassava or mangoes you know she used to treat us with all natural food you know she will you see like bananas like these when we come here she'll take the ban she'll cut the banana boil it for us you know those food that grandmas give to their grandchildren yeah so we we'll, we we'll, we we'll really used to enjoy that privilege yeah so guys but for now allow me to go back to the meeting because can't be here for long you know at this kind of this kind of times you you don't have to disappear for lo for so long because they'll start wondering where you are they don't want anyone to anyone to panic because they are they are on the other bomber the blue one and here is my other uncle's bomber so uh will uh if i get a, if i get some chance i'll show you more and more about how everything goes thank you so much for the support and to the close people at home who watch me who already knew about it and said sorry i appreciate it and to everyone who is realizing this for for some time for right now the, um, all i'm saying is that happens i know it's life and let's see how everything goes yeah that is it for now guys thank you so much and See you, see you on the next video. Bye.